Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we'll be going through which one is better, God Human or Sanguine Art. Now, I want to make this video as objective as possible, so I will be making each fighting style points based on which is better in each category. There are nine different categories. These categories include prerequisites, price, Z ability, X ability, C ability, mobility and survivability, Tima repellency, combos, and total damage. Tell me in the comments below if you agree with all my points. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into this video. Prerequisites. Both fighting styles can only be obtained in the third C. God Human requires 400 plus mastery on Dark Step, Electric, Water Kung Fu, Dragon Breath, Dragon Talon, Sharkman Karate, Electric Claw, Death Step, and Superhuman. On the other hand, Sanguine Art only needs a Leviathan Heart. Don't get me wrong, a Leviathan Heart can be hard to get, but getting all that mastery for God Human is much more time consuming. So the first point is awarded to Sanguine Art. Price. Both fighting styles need 5 million belly and 5,000 fragments, but the materials is where they differ. God Human needs 10 dragon scales, 20 fish tails, 10 mystic droplets, and 20 magma ore, whereas Sanguine Art needs 20 demonic wisps, 20 vampire fangs, and 2 dark fragments. Because dark fragments are guaranteed and fists of darkness are actually pretty easy to get your hands on, Sanguine Art gets another point. Z ability. The Z abilities are God Human's Soaring Beast and Sanguine Art's Bloodbane Drain. Both of these moves are good for combos and launch you forward, but it is the damage and utility that make the difference. Soaring Beast can do from 4411 to 5461 damage when fully held, whereas Bloodbane Drain does a straight 4743 damage but it also has the amazing ability to heal you for 20% of your max health. Since it does more damage on average and also heals you, this point is going to Sanguine Art. X ability. The X abilities are God Human's Heaven and Earth and Sanguine Art's Scarlet Tear. They can both be projectiles. Scarlet Tear does from 3598 to 4242 damage whereas Heaven and Earth can do from 4,228 damage to 6,343 if held. Heaven and Earth also has the cool ability to change from a projectile to an AoE move if held, which can be good for PvP but sometimes annoying if you accidentally hold it for too long. Just because of the choice to throw a projectile or have a big AoE, this point is going to God Human. C ability. The C abilities are God Human's Sixth Realm Gun and Sanguine Art's Devourer of Worlds. They both have two different things they can do. If you tap Sixth Realm Gun, it doesn't break observation, but if it is held, it does. While we are talking about it, it also has inbuilt auto aim when you hold this move, which is amazing. You practically can't miss unless they're too far away from you. Devourer of Worlds grabs the opponent and then brings them towards you damaging them later again with leeches, helping to keep their observation off. If you miss the attack, it makes a bubble which explodes in a couple of seconds and auto-aims towards the nearest enemy. Oh yeah, and it is also undodgeable, but it is really slow and has high startup and end lag, which makes me give another point to God Human. Mobility and survivability. This is a decently easy category to decide. Sanguine Art has one move which moves you forward, whereas God Human has two, as well as the mobility glitch, which can be used for further horizontal movement. Even though Sanguine Art has the heal from the Z move, it is also the mobility move, so you will have to decide what you want to use the move as. Along with that, God Human is just way faster when compared to Sanguine Art. An easy point for God Human. Tima Repellency. This category goes off of which has the better moves for fighting multiple people at once. God Human has a single target Z move, a small to decent AoE X move when held, and a single target C move. Sanguine Art has a single target Z move which heals, a projectile which is fast and can hit multiple people, and a C move that if it is hit or missed, can hit multiple people as well. 
people really don't want to go near the Devourer of Worlds C move, which can be good to get some space away from the teamers. Taking all this into account, the point is going towards Sanguine Art. Combos. Both of the fighting styles are great at combos, but God Human just has much faster moves than Sanguine Art. On top of that, it is easier to use the God Human X ability in a combo than it is to use the Sanguine Art X move, as it is mostly random which way the opponent gets knocked back. God Human gets another point. Total damage. This is the deciding point. So far it is 4 to 4, and total damage will put one of the two across the line to be named the better fighting style. I will be counting maximum possible damage for each move. With max damage, God Human has a total of 17,618 damage, and Sanguine Art has a total of... 15,032 damage, giving God Human another point. God Human is officially the better fighting style. Now remember, just because God Human is better overall, doesn't mean you shouldn't use Sanguine Art. Use whichever is easier for you to use, and is better with the rest of your loadout. Sometimes, I pick Sanguine Art over God Human just because of the amazing heal from the Z move, and other times, I pick God Human over Sanguine Art because of the amazing C move. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time!